today we're going to talk about um, teaching prairie, how to find morel mushrooms, how I teach her. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about today is everything we're going to do with training. Not everything, but a lot of what we're going to do with training is going to be free shaping. Huh? Okay. Um, what free shaping means is I'm going to want her to figure out what I want. I'm going to mark it and pay her for it. Uh, when a dog thinks it's its own invention, um, they're more likely to do it. They're more likely to repeat that behavior. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to show you how I free shape, because eventually I'm going to want her to stick her nose in this jar that has morel mushrooms in it, um, and just to hold her nose in there. Every time she puts her nose in there and smells them, she gets paid. Uh, I'm going to want her to lay down on this. I do all that with free shaping. Um, but because she's already done all that, I'm going to use something else she's never done and show you how I free shape. The first time she might not get all the way through it, but hopefully you get the idea. So I got a box here. I'm going to turn it upside down, put it on the floor. What I'm going to look for from her is her to put her front feet up on it and stare up at me. Um, and she might get it right away. It might take her a few times, but you'll notice the first time she puts her nose to it, I'm gonna mark it and reward. Then I'm gonna keep asking for more. It's successive approximation. So we get her close to what we want, we mark and reward, and we just keep asking for more until she actually doing the behavior we want. Um, by doing this, you, you create a more powerful behavior. And that's what we want when finding morels or for Winston finding antlers. So we're gonna get started. I got a clicker. I'm marking with um, hot dogs in my pocket. So here we go. So right now she's just sticking her nose to it. Remember, I'm eventually gonna want her to put her feet on it. And uh, look up at me. So because we've done free shaping, she should get this pretty quick. But if not, we're not going to waste a lot of time on it. Um, I don't want, normally I would create what we call a, a smaller aquarium. So I'd make the area smaller we're working in. So she didn't have as many things to do. Um, so like if I was doing with this, this with a dog that I've never free shaped before, I would probably have it in a smaller pen. She just put her foot on there and I marked and rewarded that. So she knows to look for behaviors. Um, Cause like I said, we've free shaped before. Now look at there, foot up. This, I haven't asked her to do anything. I'm talking to you and I'm marking and rewarding the behaviors I like from her. Um, and in all honesty, like I said, I would, I would make my area smaller that I was working in. And I wouldn't be talking. I would just be completely silent, just watching her. So she's chewing on it. I'm not gonna mark and reward that. I'm gonna ignore that. Put her foot back up there. Now, we keep asking for more. You've seen the first time she sniffed it. Now she's put her foot up there several times. So we're almost there. She almost put her second foot up. She probably would have if I hadn't have, uh, there it is. Now, when she did that, what I probably should have done is just jackpotted her and been done with the session. So now you see her, she's putting both feet up there and eventually I'll get her to put both feet up there and just stare up at me. Um, but this is free shaping. I didn't ask her to do it. She's figured it out on her own. She's doing some different behaviors now, chewing on a box, one foot up, different things, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna pay for that. We got some distractions, some other dogs barking noises. That's the reason you keep it in a smaller area with no distractions, it will go better. Um, but you're getting the idea. I don't wanna do too long of a video just on free shaping. See, one foot's not good enough. She's trying it, she's trying it. I can get, I might have to call it good with that. 
we'll see here. We'll give her a few more seconds to try different things. Um, and because I'm free shaping, I don't want to tell her that she can't do something. I'm not gonna say the N-O word, but I don't want to tell her she can't do things. I, I, I want her to try to figure this out on her own, what I'm looking for. Um, I can kind of move a little bit, maybe break her concentration, um, but I'm not really asking her to do anything. I just kind of moved around just to break her concentration so she quits chewing on it. Wait, I should have marked. I should have, what I should have done is when both feet was up there, I should have just jacked the bottom. There it is. We're gonna to toss the food down. We're gonna get rid of the box. That's free shaping. It's basically letting the dog figure out on its own what you're wanting. Now, so the reason I showed you that is because I free shaped her putting her nose in here. Um, basically the same idea. Come here. Get this. Um, I put her up on the mill, I put a jar here, this jar, all, this jar has morel mushrooms, I take dried ones, I buy them off the internet, and I rehydrate them with water, to get them so they start smelling like fresh morels. Um, she's found some dog food in the cracks, left over from the last training, so we have to Either go remove it or let her get it. But now I have the jar. And like I said, she's already, I've already free shaped her so she knows what to do. So I put her down, she puts her nose in, I click and reward. No matter where I put the jar at. So every time she sticks her nose in this jar, she's smelling the morel mushrooms and she's getting paid for it. Um, and you see whatever. Wherever she can get paid for, that's where she's gonna go. Always something with dog training. Um, like I said, I don't want to make this in a bad experience at all for her. So um, I'm not gonna try correcting her or anything for trying to get this food. Be patient with me, I get this. Hey. There we go. Cut that out of there. Alright, back to mushrooms. So, the jar. Every time she sniffs them, she gets paid. So now the smell of morel mushroom is taking having a value to her. Uh, one thing I do do is I want her to be obedient to this and not the treats. I got treats in my hand. I put both down. Yes. I waited until she went away from the treats and uh, put on her morels and I marked and rewarded. Now, that's one step. We teach them to stick their nose in a jar and smell morels. We'll do that a bunch. You, that needs repeated daily a bunch. Um, the next step is I take a washer and I free shape this. So what I want her to do, what she's gonna do, but what I want her to do is to lay down on this. When this goes hits the floor, she's gonna lay down on it. Um, so that's just, and I free shape this also. Um, that free shaping part at the beginning takes a little time to teach your dog, but it's very important. So she sees the washer, lays down, mark and reward. And so she's gonna do this a bunch. See, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the washer between her legs, she lays down, puts her nose on it. I mark reward. Um, you get the idea there. I got her doing that. Then I take a salt shaker with morel mushrooms and we repeat that same thing. And because she did it with a washer, it's gonna be easier for her to figure this one out. Put it down. I mark, I reward, and now, because there's mushrooms in that, every time she lays down on it, once again, she's smelling the mushrooms. So 
So, these are the first steps to get your dog to find them around. Remember, we want them to love the smell. The smell of morels has to be something that when they smell it, they're gonna go to it because they have gotten paid so much for doing it. So make sure, and make sure you free shake this. Get them to stick their nose in the jar. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Mark it for reward. I use a clicker, but I also can use the word yes. So I can uh, go like this, like yes. And I probably use the word yes more with her in normal training. So it might have a little more value. Let's drop to there. Yes. And you, you can see she sticks her nose in there and she's getting big whiffs of the morels and she's getting paid with a high value treat. This is the beginning steps. Free, just to kind of recap, we free shake. I use the example of putting her feet on the box. Um, I can do that a few more times, a few more uh, training sessions and she'll have that down. Uh, and then I free shake, sticking her nose in here. And with, I keep the morel in there, it's always in there. Um, and I keep a fresh one in there every day. So I free shake that. I free shake her laying down on the washer. The only reason I do these big washers like this is it can't move. Because when you're first starting into free shaping to get them to lay down, if you use the salt shaker, they just bat it around, hit it, and um, lots of distractions. A washer's flat, lays on the ground, they can't pick it up to eat it very well. Younger dogs like to eat everything. Uh, so that's the reason I start with the washer and then I go to a salt shaker with the morels inside of it. Um, the next step, which we'll do in another video, will be teaching her to, to search for that scent. Um, and I use a scent wheel with that. But what's really important right now is teaching your dog to stick their nose in the glass having morels in there and pain. And so anytime you pull this down, no matter where you're at with it, whether it's up on the training, where at the middle where I'm training or down here, yes. I don't want to have to ask her to put her nose in it. I just want her to do it. Um, so no matter where we go, if I put this down, yes, she sticks her nose in it, she gets paid. Um, and you can see, with her doing that, eventually how we can transfer that to a morel mushroom when she's going to the woods and she catches a whiff of a morel, how she'll go to it and lay down on it. Um, but there's stages we have to go through. We have to start here with the basics and then we'll move on to more searching. We'll start searching inside and then Right now it's 20 blowouts, so we're not doing anything outside and there's snow on the ground. But we, it's January, so we have to start early. I want to get this video out to you so you can get started early on it. Um, and because by April, May, we want this dog actively searching for morels everywhere it goes. Um, that's it on this video. We'll get the, we're going to give you a week or two to, to work on this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than willing to help. Just comment down below. Uh, so we'll give you a week or two and then we'll start using a scent wheel type stuff. To basically, what I'm gonna do is getting them actively searching for the morels and hitting on the morels, just the morels. So I'll have a lot of scents out there with their dog food in it and hot dogs. And, other things and i'm just going to want them to hit on the morale so this is it for the first video give me a couple weeks and then check back thanks